subject. Don't change the agenda. Don't change the agenda. Now we're going to soon go into our series on people you can't help. However, this message today is going to set it up for us. Don't change the agenda. Because if we change the agenda, you sure enough ain't going to help. Amen. Can't change the agenda. Don't, don't alter and change the agenda to try to help folk. Amen. So don't change the agenda. Amen. What scripture we have? Second Timothy. Chapter number 3. Second Timothy. Chapter number 3. Paul said to Timothy in verse number one, he said, this know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. Difficult times. I'm reading from King James Version. Perilous times mean difficult times. He went on to say in verse two, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, bolsters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, Unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady minded, high minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Verse 5 says, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. From such Turn away. Now let me go over to verse chapter number four and verse number one and two to go along with our subject matter. Chapter four of Second Timothy, verse one and two. Now, because of all of that, watch what Paul further says to Timothy now. Since you know all this gonna happen in the last days, he says in verse one, I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ who shall judge the quick and the dead and his appearing and his kingdom. Watch this. Preach the word. Amen. Preach the word. Be instant. In season. Out of season. Reprove. Excuse me. Reprove. Rebuke. And sort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come. Uh oh. There's a time coming. For the time will come. When what will happen? When they will not endure sound doctrine. Yes, uh oh. But after their own lusts, they shall heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. Now I'm going to stop right there because you can read all the rest of this in your own timing. But let me just help you with this. Here's where we're going today. Don't change the agenda because chapter 4 and verse 2 say preach the word. Preach the word. Let me tell you a lot of things are happening in our society today because folk are changing the agenda. First we got to get an understanding what is the purpose of the agenda. The agenda the purpose is an agenda is a plan. It's an outline. If any of you ever been in meetings and they have an agenda, the agenda tells the plan. The agenda tells the outline of what's going to happen and the way to objectively make sure it happens. You need the agenda. Can I help you with this today? It's not a long message, but it's one to help us all out. Don't change the agenda. God's word is the agenda. You cannot help nobody, including yourself, if you're going to change the agenda. You can't change and say, well, I know know what God's word says but you can't change it and say well I know God's word want me to do this but right now I just don't feel like it don't change the agenda Amen. now I want to tell you this and again it's not long but we got to get some understanding here today there's a lot of changing going on we can see it from mega ministries to local ministries we can see it from high to low and all in between that there's changing going on. We not we not went from walk with me, Lord, to walk it out, walk it out, walk it out, walk it out. See, see somebody's changing. The agenda. I ain't gonna get no help right now. But we got to understand that a lot of what we're seeing happening, we're getting the results because folk are changing the agenda. Paul told Timothy, what you've got to do is don't change the agenda. In other words, don't change the word. Let the word open up, let flow in the word, and make sure you close with the word. Start with the word and end with the word. Teach the word and preach the word. 
word, preach the word, and teach the word. How should I do that? He says, be instant, in season and out of season. And when they want to hear it, and when they don't want to hear it. We've got to know that we can't afford to change the agenda. You know why some people ain't changed? Because their, their agenda has changed. The Bible tells us that folk gonna call right wrong and wrong right. The agenda is changing. Well, I feel like I can do this. And so now somebody told you, go with your feelings. That ain't what God's word said. The agenda say that the just shall live by faith. The agenda say walk by faith and not by sight. The agenda says walk out of the spirit so that you don't fulfill the lust of the flesh. Now, now somebody said, Pastor, why is it that we can't change the agenda? Because we got to understand there are two sets of groups that's involved in this. There is the them and there is the us. Mm -hmm. We got to understand that if the us start changing the agenda, how can we reach the them that don't know the agenda? Mm -hmm. If the us don't live the agenda, how can we let our light so shine before the them that don't know that God is more than able? Amen. Amen. So we can't afford to change the agenda because contrary to what anyone may say, there is a them and there is a us. However, God's word teaches us that there should be a distinction between them and us. And the only way that they're going to know there's a distinction is by us not changing the agenda and keep the word at our forefront. Live the word, pray the word, eat the word, digest the word, go with the word, walk in the word, sleep with the word, get up with the word, go to work with the word, go out of town with the word, go to the next time to gather with the word. Stay with the word. Don't change the agenda. Amen. Now I told you I'm almost done. It's not long, but somebody need to understand some of your struggle is coming today because you keep changing the agenda. You keep saying, I know what God's word say, but, and I just don't feel like God is not concerned with how you feel. God says, I gave you my agenda. I gave you the plan. I gave you the outline. He says, everything going down but my word. John 1 and 1 say, in the beginning was the word. Oh, you don't believe me? Check it. Check it right in your Bible. In the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word was with God. How can we think that what was in the beginning going to change because we just got here day before yesterday? <laughs> Talk back to me if you can. Don't change the agenda. I'm married now. Don't change the agenda. The agenda still say, husband, love your wives. As Christ loves his wife. The church is Christ's wife. Now we got folk loving their wives as long as she can. My God, I'm trying to keep this G rating in here. But you better understand something. Don't change the agenda because God not allowed you to get a wife. Amen. Woman, don't change the agenda because God allowed you to get a husband. He still said that he is the author. He is the originator of marriage. You don't get to change it. See, I'm telling you, a lot of our struggles because we're changing the agenda. We can go and know exactly what God's word says, and we'll go and do just the opposite. And God said, that means you want, you invited me out of it. You change the agenda, now you deal with it. Y'all know my favorite verse? One of them is Proverbs 14, 12. I'm going to quote it again. There is a way that seems right under man, but the end thereof is destruction. Don't you dare change the agenda. It may seem right for you to slap her, but you're going to do some time. <laughs> Yeah, and I ain't about turn no other cheek neither. Because let me just straight something out. Jesus don't want us to be nobody's dope man. So don't change the agenda. So what do I do? Put some miles to you. Stop that time. I said, I know the Lord put us together. For her to knock your eye out and you to knock us out, the devil is a lie. You trying to change the agenda. Get out of there. Amen. I ain't going to get much help now. See, that's why we get results that we're getting. Because folk are changing the agenda. The Bible says if, if it appears evil, shine it. You can't change people. Stop letting people change you. I'm just going to stay in it anyhow. I've been in it this long. But watch this. We're going to have some slow walking and slow singing. Just keep staying in it instead of going with the agenda. Don't change the agenda. Now I know I get some pushback. So since I'm out there, let me just step on out there. But now, Pastor, are you are you advocating divorce and telling people to, to, to get a divorce? Let me just tell you something. Some folk would divorce before they got married. Because any time die, D-I, that means two. You got two visions, two bank accounts, two houses, two cars, two this. Everything already divided in the house. Where is it coming together? See, when you change the agenda, 
Don't look for God to be here. That's why Paul warned Timothy. He said, because the time going to come. Can I help us? When folk don't endure sound doctrine, we live there right now. We in some troublesome times. It appears that don't nobody want to hear what God has to say. From the White House to the Dog House and all houses in between. Nobody want to hear what God says. Everybody got their own agenda. He said, but Timothy, I'm warning you, don't you change the agenda. You stay with the word because there are perilous times, last days. They're here. Amen. We got folk can't even eat. Don't have places to stay. I think it was on the news this morning. I heard where well, one bedroom apartment right here in mid Florida is $1,600. Yeah. One bedroom. Thank God some of us got three and four bedroom houses and didn't pay no $1,600 a month no more. Amen. But rent is $1,600. You think you can afford to change your agenda? They changed it for you on that side already. <laughs> That's why somebody better try to stick with the law. Because the law say, I supply. I take care of you. I'll see you through. But you can't change. The agenda, all of you that have retired, tell God thank you. Because they done changed the agenda on these jobs. <laughs> Oh, you see all of them retirees with the Holland social media. That's them y'all here now. You don't hear nobody on the 60s saying nothing. We just still trying to make it. But you see, it's changed. And Paul said to them, don't change the agenda. Hebrews 13 and verse 8 says, Jesus the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Don't change the agenda. He said, because I didn't change. I'm the same. I was saving people by the blood of me yesterday. I saved you by the blood today. And I'm saving by the blood tomorrow. I died on yesterday. I'm dying today. I die tomorrow. I'm the same. I rose again. I'm on the right hand of the Father. I don't change. So we cannot afford to change the agenda. Let me take these glasses off one more time. As we get ready to pull this train in. And let me help you all understand something. I said it in Sunday school. And I'm going to say it again right now. If you in a place where they are not giving you the word of God where you're not getting God's agenda God's outline, God's plan run for his run get out of there, you cannot afford to stay in a place where folk ain't teaching the sound doctrine of God's word, because if you're there and they're not teaching properly how do you know when they're telling a lie mm. you don't know that's why amen, I heard it that's why you got to take time and study God's word. Yeah. Don't just keep coming in here with your Bible clutched up under your arm. God ain't impressed. Yeah. Yeah. You got to unclutch it and open it up. Yeah. And say, Holy Ghost, who is the teacher? Teach me. Because I don't want to change the agenda. Yeah. Now somebody say, well, why is it that you're so uh, putting emphasis on don't change the agenda? Let me tell you why. And here's how the train going to come in. Let's go over to Psalm 119. Because see, we need to understand the importance of the word of God. God's word is so valuable and important. Do you know what Jesus told us? Jesus said, don't cast blood before swine. I'm going to deal with that and the people you can't help. See, sometimes you cast in pearl before swine. Because when a person has a swine mentality, you know a hog don't care about nothing. Uh -huh. A hog is a dirty nasty. Ain't nobody gonna talk that to me but some of us country folk who know how dirty a hog is. Some of y'all done went online and pulled up. But I'm gonna talk to us who saw the hog eat his own. I saw the hog eat his own. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all ain't saying nothing in here. I mean, eat it good. Eat it all up. Eat it slow. Eat it fast. Eat it all that no more. I saw the hog. Jesus said, don't cast pearls before swine because swines don't value. Don't, the word of God should be like pearls to us. It's just that valuable. That's why we should change it. That's why we should always know that if you're going to help some folk and if you see they got a swine mentality, I'm just jumping over in next week for a moment to get y'all to come back next week and hear all of it. If you see they got a swine mentality, don't keep giving God's word to them. Give them up to the Lord and keep them in your prayers. But you got to stay with God's word. Don't change it. Well, that's my wife. Don't change it. Those are my children. Don't change it. That's my co Don't change it. 
That's my pastor. Don't change it. If your pastor ain't giving you the word, don't change the agenda. Give him a note. Slip him a word. And, or him or whoever, him or her, slip him a word. And say, is that what the Bible says? <laughs> Let me say something. This may sound comical to some of us, but hear me clearly. When you go to the book of Jude, the Sunday school lesson this morning dealt with this. The Bible says we got to contend for the faith. We got to fight for the faith. This is why you shouldn't change the agenda. Because Jude talks about body snatchers. People coming in, false teachers, false prophets, and they're saying things. To get you off focus from the agenda. To get you not to go with the outline that God has put in place before you even got in line. Jews said you better watch them. Because they're here. And let me just say to us. You better know who's sitting next to you. Jude talked about that. See, when you don't change the agenda, the agenda tells you to know who's around you. Jesus said, know them that labor amongst you. You got to know who people are. Stop looking at what they got on. Man looks at the outward appearance. God said, I know what's in your heart. With your vest and three-piece on and ain't nobody saying nothing. Woo! Why can't we change the agenda? Y'all should be in Psalm 119 by now. Yeah. All right. So let's read y'all there. Amen. Four and five, catch up. <laughs> Watch with Psalm 119. Now, Psalm 119 is the longest chapter in the Bible, so I'm not going to read all 176 verses. I will not. You can take care of that in your time. But listen how it opens up. Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law. Of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Don't change the agenda because if you want to be blessed, you got to walk in the agenda. The agenda say, I know how to bless you, when to bless you. Watch this. Blessed means you've been empowered to prosper. We're not just talking financially to prosper in your walk with the Lord, in your growth with the Lord. Don't change the agenda. He says, blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. The word law is indicative of the word. We got to stay with the word. Let me tell you, folk have changed the agenda when they tell the people, bring X number amount of dollars. And I'm going to keep mentioning this for a while because some folk are undercoverly giving folk they money and wonder why you don't see a return because God said I'm not in that I didn't tell you to invest in man I told you to invest in me and then I can invest in man through you but if you're gonna try to invest in man without me man gonna take you with everything they can take from you but if you do it my way I'll make sure you have everything that you need and can I tell you I'm not just up here talking I'm telling you what I live and I believe there's some witnesses out here that live the same thing. You just keep doing it God's way. It don't matter. God say, I bless you. I will fix it where you will prosper. You will grow up in me and you will stop blowing up. Some of you can't stop blowing up because you won't grow up because you keep changing the agenda. You want to cuss when you want to cuss. Fight when you want to fight. Lie when you want to lie. Steal when you want to steal. Dip when you want to dip. Die when you want to die. Deny when you want to die. The agenda say, don't change it. I'm just suffering for Jesus. No, you're not. You reap it from what you put down. Don't change it. Don't change the agenda. Jesus coming. Well, Pastor, I've been hearing that a long time. But that don't tell you something. He's that much closer. What would he say in verse number two? Blessed are they that keep his testimonies. And that she get with that. Oh my God. She get with your whole heart. Amen. Let me tell you something. We are in an hour now where you got to seek the Lord with your whole heart. Yes. You got to seek him with your whole heart. Don't just come in here on Sunday. I'm not trying to tell you don't come to service. Come to church. Come to church. Come, please. Come. Thank you, social media, for being out there. Get online. Get online. But when you get offline, yes. you better make sure you're still in line. Seek it yes. with your whole heart. Now I'm about to step somewhere and get in trouble But it'll be alright because some of the prayer warriors are going to keep praying with me and pumping Let me tell you, some of y'all are investing more time In social media Than you are in God's word 
And God said, I'm a jealous God. Yes. Yes. See, some of you don't even know you've made social media. Social media. Boy, look here. I, I, I thank you for a few of y'all going to keep supporting this word. It's getting hot up here now. But let me just tell you something. If you got to post everything that you're doing, number one, everybody don't care. Number two, it ain't everybody's business. Number three, that's why some of y'all get scared. Number four, that's why some... Oh, don't make me call the list. But if you got to post everything, then what time are you giving to the agenda? You got to put up everywhere you go eat. When people out there hungry, that's why some of them going to fire you and bust your butt. Just go. They say, you got something to eat, I'm hungry, you post it up. The word, if you look at the agenda, it says we ought to feed them that home. Yeah. Matthew 25. Clothe the naked. Yeah. And every time you get out a new outfit, you done change your profile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the agenda didn't tell us that. I'm not against social media. I'm against being so social though till you ain't got no time to be social with the word. Yeah. Don't change it. But it's the it's where we live now. Wait a minute. The word was in the beginning, social media word. No, that's right. So where do we really live? Mm. If you can't live in God's word with social media, something wrong. Uh oh. Let me leave that long. I don't think you much more about that. <laughs> see, because see, somebody take that and try to run the wrong way with it. Pastor said we should be on social media. That's not what I said. <laughs> I said, don't change the agenda. Mm -hmm. Don't let social media become your idol. Right, right, right. Some of y'all need to be on social media because you won't watch the news. <laughs> so you need to know the bank gonna close. <laughs> social media tell all of us. You won't know what's really going on now. Sometimes you find out. Get on social media. They'll tell you who the crook is. How much he stole? <laughs> so to be tell you who going through divorce and what they got to pay. Okay. News ain't gonna tell y'all that because some of them on the news is the ones going through the divorce. They don't want you to know. <laughs> Bless! Y'all stop the angle fools, y'all. <laughs> Verse 3 says in Psalm 119, they also do no iniquity. They walk in his ways. Now iniquity means that they don't plan and practice sinning, but they walk in his ways. See, that's why we can't change the agenda. Because the agenda is going to help us to walk in the Lord's ways and not be wicked and evil and try to do some things like others are doing. The word of God says, stay with my word. Don't change the agenda. Mm -hmm. Listen. Okay. All right. I'm going to close it up. Thank you. Holy Spirit, listen. Don't change the agenda, church. We in, we in, we in some rough waters. We got not just spiritual. I know there's a war in the spirit going on, but there's a cultural war. There's an economical war. There's an educational war. There's a political war. And there are other wars that are going on. This is why we cannot afford to change the agenda. We got to stay with God's word. Paul told Timothy, do you see what's happening? And can I help us with this? And watch this. And y'all get ready to come on and, 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 and get up out of here. Listen, listen. Do you know how many people are calling in folk now mm. who are saying what they want to hear mm. and not what they need to hear. Mm. Paul told Timothy the time going to come when they have itching ears. Mm. Itching ears mean they want to hear some things but they don't want to hear the right thing. Mm. Itching ears mean they want to hear what they want to hear and not what they need to hear. And if you won't tell them what they want, they'll call in, they'll reach all across you and get somebody who will come in and say what they want to hear. That's your end. That is not right. That's why he said you stay with the word. So what is the Lord saying for us in the 21st century church? Stay with the word. Don't change the agenda. Because when you change it, it's dangerous. 
when you change, it can be detrimental. Now, Pastor, how do you know that? Because everything has an origin. Let me help you. When you change what the Lord says, mm. it can be detrimental. Mm -hmm. In the third chapter of Genesis, mm -hmm. the Lord had told Adam in the second chapter what to do, what not to do, what to touch, what not to touch. But in the third chapter, there came one who was more cunning and subtle, more crafty. Here come the serpent, slithered his way up to Eve and began to talk. Now, the Lord God gave Adam those directives and instructions before he brought Eve. Right. Right. Something happened in chapter 3 because when the enemy slithered his way up to Eve and had full conversation with her, then she had conversation with the husband. The Bible says she ate and gave to her husband who was with her. And when the Lord showed up, he said, Adam, where are you? You know what the Lord was asking Adam? I know you changed the outline in my plan. Now I need you to tell me where you are. Not that he didn't know where he was geographically as well as spiritually. He says, where are you in your thinking? You changed the agenda. Now because you changed it. And watch what Adam did. Adam said, that woman you gave me. Mm -hmm. See, when you change God's word, you will become so out of control until you will try to interrogate God. Mm -hmm. wow. Adam, that's what he did. Yeah. He said, that woman you gave me. You know what Adam was having in the business, particularly if you had the bottle too. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know what he was doing? He was acting just like God didn't give him instructions. Before he brought the Lord, before he brought her to him. That's why, I, that's why I caution these people today. Because the Lord gave me my husband. The Lord gave me my wife. God is not a matchmaker. God gives you instructions. And you go with the instructions. But I knew the place. The Lord said, what you say? That woman you gave me. Watch this. See, when you change the agenda, it can be detrimental. You know what the Lord said? Let me mind. He said, well, everybody's going to get it. That's right. The serpent, the woman in you. He said, as a matter of fact, at the close of my letting everybody know what they're going to get, he said, the two of y'all get out. Since you're going to change my agenda and change my outline, get out of my God. Mm. Now, what that ought to tell us? Psalm 24. Yo! I heard it echo. I heard it all. Watch this. You know, you know, everything has an origin. That, you thought you were the only one got evicted. That was the first eviction. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord God said, get out of here because I own this. That's right. See, that's right. why you ought to be careful changing the agenda. Psalm 24 and 1 say, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. The Lord God said, I'm the landlord. You don't get to change nothing around here. But if you change it, you're going to get the consequences. It does not mean God don't love us. It does not mean we ain't saved. It means we change what God said. And God said, I'd be unjust if I did not let you deal with what you put a welcome mat out for. Amen. You changed my word. Huh? He said, now get out. He said, you're out of here. He said, Adam, you're going to work by the sweat of your brow? Oh my God, it's going to be working on the railroad all the live long day. <laughs> Women are having pain in childbirth. All because mm. somebody changed the agenda. Right. But I'm so glad that the Lord didn't leave him with a cliffhanger. Mm -hmm. He in Genesis they spoke of Jesus, my Lord and my Savior. That's gonna come, and He has come. And He bruised His heel, but He bruised the head of the enemy. He crushed him and took it out. Took him down. And that's why we shouldn't change the agenda. Because John 10, 10 said, The enemy come to steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus said, But I came mm. for you to have life mm -hmm. and have more abundantly. Don't change the agenda. Because yeah. when you change it, mm -hmm. you're going to get something. And it's called consequences. Yeah. So I want to encourage you today don't change the agenda. Yeah. We're going to move into people that you can't help. 
And the main reason you're not going to be able to help them is if you change the agenda, you can't help them. Because you change what's going to help them. Because it's the word that helps you. So why not let the word help them? And for this reason, we are out. Stay encouraged in the Lord. And don't change the agenda. Amen. Amen. And amen.